Hi, my name's Dan, and uh, this video is one in a series of videos on uh, using widgets, interface elements in Unreal. And in this one, I'm going to do uh, some stuff about layout in widgets. Um, it really probably should be called simple layouts in widgets because there's so much that can be done here. Um, I'm just going to kind of basically get you started on this. Uh, so my setup here, I've got a third-person template map. I've got a little widget that I created last time. It's being shown on the screen. I'm doing that through the, the level blueprint and just to show you what's happening. Um, I've got a little texture there on the bottom uh, left and some text saying, hello, my name's Dan. Um, and that's what's in my widget. So uh, I'm going to go into that and let's uh, do some work on it. Uh, so, mostly, uh, to start off with, I'm going to do some stuff about relative placement, um, and then I'm going to do a little bit about containers. Uh, so, I'm going to focus on this element here, the image. I'm going to take this and just kind of slide it up into that top corner a little bit. If I can go on there. There go. And you'll have noticed this uh, star thing that appears on the top left. Uh, and that's what's called the anchor. Um, and the positioning of any elements inside this uh, big panel, uh, which is uh, a container called canvas panel, uh, is re uh, relative to wherever the anchor is. And so we've got some information over here on the right-hand side of the details. Uh, we've got uh, an anchors thing, and I'm, uh, I'm going to be getting into that in a little bit. Uh, we've got a position X and a position Y, so that's the... Uh, the position of the elements, and if I move that back, you can see those values changing. I've got a size X and a size Y, which uh, again, you can see those values changing. Um, and there's an alignment, and we'll come to the alignment in a little bit. Size to content, we're not bothered about it. Um, so this is uh, anchored to the top left at the moment, uh, and to display what that means, uh, just click compile. Instead of playing in the, the this viewport window uh, as normal, I'm going to use a standalone viewport. Um, so a new editor window, PA. And it starts to play, right? The reason for doing that is... Uh, start. Let's try again. I need mouse control. Is so that I can drag and drop the edges and show you what happens when I change um, change the size of the screen that's being used. Uh, so watch the uh, uh, the image as I do this. I'm shrinking it. And you'll see that its distance from the left hand of the screen stays constant uh, up until we get to a point where um, it's, it thinks it needs to, to move it to stay consistent, um, which is an interesting effect. Uh, and similarly, if I get the bottom corner here, of it. It's, I was going to say it's fixed, connected to the top of the screen, but it's actually, um, yeah, you see the difference, the distance between the the top of the, the texture and the top of the screen is not changing. So if I was um, stretching it equally, it's pretty much consistent in its distance to that edge of the screen. It seems to move across the the image as we do that. So um, you might be able to work out from that that um, if we change the anchor, then that changes where that, um, where that, uh, how that thing behaves with the um, as we change the uh, the resolution of the screen. So I'm going to actually I've just chosen uh, top right. So these nine here, oh, that's top left. Top middle, top right, bottom right, etc. Middle, middle. Um, so I'll just quickly do bottom right, and I'll move it over to there to show that. And this is the sort of positioning you might have a mini map. Um, and I'm also going to change the uh, resolution of that. It stays pretty much constant relative to that bottom corner. Okay. Um, 
there are a few things that we didn't see there. We'll see see those in a minute. I'm going to just do uh, center. So um, if we want something centered on the screen, then we need to use the center anchor, and then we need to position that so that it's at the center. And we might want it exactly. So um, there are two things we need to do to make that happen. The first is that and so our position X and position Y are relative to that anchor point. So if I type in 0 and 0, um, ah, but the anchor point inside the element, or the the the, uh, the point in the element that is being registered against the anchor point at the moment is the top left. And we can change that as well by using these alignment values. And these are a number between 0 and 1, depending on how far across we want to use. So if we want to use the center of the element to be in the center of the screen, we use 0 0.5, 0.5. And let's um, compile and display that. Uh, so go to the edge, and you can see it's staying in the center. Okay. There are other options here that we haven't shown, which are <coughs> somewhat stranger, which are the uh, stretch top, stretch middle, stretch bottom, and stretch up, middle, left, right, etc. and the, the full stretch. I'm just going to show the stretch top. Um, and what that has done is it's split this, uh, this kind of flower shape to uh, the two sides, and uh, we've got offset left position Y, offset right size Y, that's kind of changed the values there. Um, and I'm going to show you what happens when we um, press play on that. Is that that's actually stretched somewhat. And what's actually happening here is that the right-hand edge of the uh, of the element is anchored to the left of the screen, and the opposite, so the left-hand edge of the element is anchored to the right of the screen. Which is a bit of an odd layout thing to want. But if that's what you want, then uh, we can use it. You might uh, commonly use the uh, the big one, the stretch across the whole thing, for a menu, for example, so that not only is it um, positioned centrally, but also it spreads across most of the screen. Okay, so we're going to revert that to the bottom left. Sorry, the bottom right. I'll put it down as if it was a mini-map. The next thing I'm going to do, uh, show you quickly, is... Um, Thing called the Z order. Come on, let's grab that and move it. I've kind of deliberately left that anchor to the top right so that I can show some relevant things. If you've got two elements that are overlapping, there's a question then which should which of those should be on top? And that's where the Z order comes in. So this textual element is at Z order zero, um, and the uh, the minimap thing is at Z order zero as well. So it's doing it in the order that they're being um, encountered down here. And what whatever's drawn second is drawn over what's drawn first. But if we want to take more control over that, and if we want the minimap always to be on top, we can change its Z order to 1 to make it higher. Then anything uh, Z order 0 is drawn first, and then at successive numbers upwards. And we can use you know whatever integers we need. Yeah. Um, let's compile and show that. Um, and in fact, the text has gone off the edge of the screen because the the text is uh, anchored to the top left and the image is anchored to the bottom right. And as we move it around, the text is always behind the image because of the Z ordering. Thing we've done there. Okay. <clears throat> right, so... We're going to move on, and I'm going to show you some simple uh, container use next. So uh, imagine that we've got some kind of RPG game going on here, and we want to display on the screen a health and a mana uh, level for this uh, for this game. Um, and uh, sometimes you want to uh, you want to put elements together in blocks so that they're bound together. And there's a whole load of stuff that you can use for this, which is uh, which is containers, and uh, it uses the word panel to describe that. And the two that I'm going to show you are a horizontal box and a vertical box. Um, 
So a vertical box allows us to stack things vertically. Ooh, my friend. I'm just going to drag that onto the screen. Stretch it out somewhat. Now it's registered to the top left from the anchor, so that's fine. And there's nothing in it. This is just a container which allows you to put multiple other elements inside it. Um, and I'm going to stick a couple of horizontal boxes inside this now. So just drag and drop that in. Um, and at the moment, because there's no content, they're kind of minimal size. Um, but I'm going to uh, uh, select both of those. And then over here, I'm going to use the fill button. So uh, they're going to try and compete with each other. And uh, that actually um, gives you half of that horizontal, uh, sorry, vertical space for each of those horizontal boxes. Um, and each of these boxes, the reason why I put horizontal boxes inside the vertical boxes is because I want to have a bit of text up here that says health, and then I'm going to use a bar here, and then underneath it, mana, and use another bar up there. Um, so let's get the, uh, the text in, which is from here. So I'm, going to, I'm actually going to uh, drag these into the boxes here rather than on the screen, just to show you that. Uh, so that horizontal box in there, and I'm going to change that text to say health. And I've got to use a progress bar, uh, which is uh, the kind of thing that you see when something's loading and it can fill up. But this is can be used for all sorts of things in interfaces. Um, I'm just going to drop, drop that in, and this is going to be our health bar. Um, and again, I'm going to highlight those two and click fill so that it it makes them bigger. I'm going to go back to the progress bar, and um, it's got a fill color as blue, and I want to change that to a kind of red color for health. Um, for some reason, it's still looking gray. So, um, I'm not sure what's happening there. Bob. Excuse me as I try and find. Okay, I'm not going to waste your time trying to find that because obviously I don't know how to do that. I would just need to look that up. Um, those two elements now that they don't, they look okay, but they're not the best. Um, I'm going to uh, make a couple of changes here. I'm going to add some padding which means some extra space around the edge of the elements. And I'm just going to put uh, 10 units of padding in there. Um, and I'm also going to change its alignment so that it's aligned uh, to the right-hand side with the text and that it's also centrally aligned uh, vertically. Um, and that hasn't made any change to that. As I stretch out the vertical box, it should, things should change with um, and the um, the bar here, I'm also going to do uh, that 20 padding. And um, it's on fill at the moment. Uh, I really want it to be so that it's filled horizontally, but not vertically. If I do that, it becomes quite thin. So um, and I'm looking for a height. And uh, I'm not going to use this, so it's on one, so let's try two. No, that's width. Okay. Oh, I'll tell you that's one. Um, and tell you what, we're going to take that back to fill and just control it using the, <laughs> using the padding. I'm going to use top and bottom padding. So make it thinner. Maybe that's too much. Forty. Forty. And I'm um, I'm deliberately messing about with this before I've put the uh, the mana bar in because uh, now what I can do is I can highlight these two. Um, do Control C for copy, and then highlight the horizontal box and do Control. And it'll copy those across, and so the layout stuff has been copied with it. And we just need to change this text here from health to mana. Okay. I 
So let's have a quick look at that. Uh, working in action, uh, we've got a health bar and a mana bar. They're a little bit too far apart, so I want to be tweaking those. Um, <clears throat> and, um, so I click in, I lose control, so I need to get back to the. So I lose my control. Uh, I want to show something as a change. Those. The health and the mana bar are registered to the top left there, as they were before. Okay, so I'm just going to adjust this a little bit uh, the, by using the vertical box and just shrinking this down so they're a bit closer together. I'm having a problem because that padding is making those really thin, so I shouldn't have done it that way. So I, this is demonstrating something that's... Uh, um, <clears throat> which is the pain of doing interfaces because layout is the thing that's always a problem to do with interfaces. Um, two, three, that's a time to me. And they're going to be a bit fat. Getting the layout right is, and um, getting the relative stuff right is a lot more of a pain than actually getting it working properly. Um, so, I, yeah, it's okay. It's grey. I didn't manage to change the colour. The width between them isn't quite the same as. Uh, how I imagined by looking at it here. Um, so I'd need to do some adjustments to make that actually look right and feel right. It's a bit too far into the screen. But the thing that I've done is the principles of uh, some layout stuff. I've shown you the anchors, I've shown you the Z ordering, and I've shown you the use of uh, uh, some simple containers, horizontal and vertical containers. There. So that's it from me for now. Mm -hmm.